Hey there, my name is Crystal Gray. I've been teaching yoga since 2006 and leading online and in-person yoga teacher training since 2014. In this video, I want to show you how to do Sukhasana safely and correctly for your body and also why it's one of the most important poses that there is. All right. So if you wanna practice along with me, you can start on your mat or on the floor and then we'll cross the legs. Now, what I want you to check here is if your knees are a lot higher than your hips. If your knees are higher than your hips or if your back is rounding, yeah, good job, he's trying to help. If your back is rounding and your tailbone's tucking under, then that means that maybe you need to either prop yourself up on a bolster or prop yourself up on a folded mat or pillow, folded blanket, whatever you have around. Okay, so from here, when your legs are crossed, you can grab your knees, pull on your knees to pull the pelvis forward so that you come right on top of your sitting bones. We're not tilting the pelvis all the way forward, we're just tilting it to come into neutral. Now you should feel your sitting bones pushing down into the mat. What you can do here to feel the sitting bones more is actually grab your booty, don't be shy, grab your booty and just kind of pull it out to the sides. Okay, so that your pelvis feels neutral. Now from here, lift your rib cage up away from the hips and relax your shoulders down, bringing your hands to your knees. Now, what I really don't like to say in this pose anymore, and this is feedback from one of my trainees, Christy, she's really good at modifications for poses for larger bodies. And what she said is she doesn't like to call it easy seated pose anymore because it's not easy, right? So I don't call it that either. Either, Even though easy seated pose is its technical name, whenever we say easy, it doesn't actually mean that the pose should be easy. It's more that we should find ease in the pose, right? And we really wanna find ease in all of the poses. Okay, so the reason why this pose is also so important is because it really does help you to get in tune with your pelvis and bringing the pelvis into more of a neutral position. Like I said, feel free to prop yourself up onto a folded up blanket or a bolster, and then again, pull the flesh away from your sitting bones. When you come up on a bolster, it's just so much easier to get your pelvis into neutral. If your tailbone is tucking under, look what happens to my back, it rounds, right? And so then my chest collapses and it's really hard hard to breathe. And we do a lot of breathing in Sukhasana, right? In this cross-legged seated pose, that's what I call it now. So you wanna pull on the knees, pull the pelvis into neutral, lift the rib cage up, relax the shoulders down, hands can be on the knees, chin parallel to the ground, reach the back of the crown of the head up towards the sky. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you wanted to learn more from me, I would love that. I have a mini master class on sun salutations, breaking down sun salutation A. I put the link in the description if you would like that video. Have a great day, namaste. Let me know in the comments uh, if you have any other questions or concerns about this cross-legged pose. I would love to answer them and help you through the process. All right, see you later, bye.